Well, how y'all doing, folks? It's Papa again, and I'm hungry. I got to tell you, yesterday when I, when me and David come back from fishing, after I got them fish cleaned, that was all I wanted. I was plumb wore out. But I got a big old slab of bass fillet, and like I said, McDonald's fillet of fish ain't got nothing on old Papa. Check it out. Oh. All right. Well, I don't cook a big old slab of fish. I just go ahead and cut it into pieces the size that I can handle easily. I'm going to cut these in about one inch, one inch pieces. There. Now what I have here is the coating that I used on the catfish. This is uh, one part flour, one part massa, and one part instant potatoes. And I'm going to take this fish and I'm going to put it in a pot of water over here. So that when I bread those pieces of fish, I'd have some moisture to pick up some of that powder. So I'll take a piece of fish. Get it coated and lay it out. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to do all of them, all, all the pieces, and I'm just going to let them sit there while I get the oil hot. And what's going to happen is the moisture on that meat is going to saturate the powder, and then that's going to make it stick. So we'll be we'll be back. Boy, oh, ain't that some good looking meat right there. Man. Now I'll put this back in the refrigerator because the refrigerator acts as a dehydrator and that's why that powder stayed dry. So all that fish came out of one fillet and we're just going to let that sit there for a while while I get some oil warming up. Okay. Well, we want to cook at about 350 degrees. You can see, see here. you can see how this is stuck to the meat now. So let's put it in there to fry. Fry, baby.
And basically with fish, you cook it till it floats. I better give you another quick look at this fish because me and the wife are eating this stuff fast as it comes out of the fryer. <laughs> Folks, I gotta tell you now, this is a mighty good fish. This is a big old largemouth bass. Mm. All this fish that I've cooked and already eaten, eaten some, and so is my wife. All of it was off that one fillet. And uh, I'll remind you now that my breading consists of one part flour, one part corn flour, like I use in Mexico, it's called masa, M-A-S-A. I used to make all the tortillas and tamales and everything. And one third part instant potatoes, instant mashed potatoes. And it just makes a it's a beautiful, a beautiful light crust. And that bass, that meat is so white. Mm. Mm. Y'all have a wonderful day. And a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody.